If you have your Bibles, if you can turn to Nehemiah chapter 13 and 2. I have two scriptures, but I want us to uh, focus on, because this is our foundational scripture, focus on Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 2. Amen. Once again, that's Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 2. If we can stand for the reading of the word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Lord, Father God. Lord, I just ask that you use me, Lord, Father God. Lord, allow me to decrease as you increase, Lord. Have your way, your, your way Lord. I just ask, Lord, that you, you allow me, Lord, to speak your word with power and clarity, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and that your will be done, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Nehemiah uh, chapter 13, verses 2, and it says, Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. How be it our God turned the curse into a blessing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. You Turn to your neighbor and say, you cannot curse what is blessed. You can't curse what is blessed. Because watch this, blessed means empowered to prosper. Amen. So you cannot curse what is blessed. And, 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 and so today I want to talk about reverse the curse. We, we've been in this uh, series for the last two months. Uh, and we have a flyer, a, a poster on the wall dealing with the war is on. So we've been in a two-month series uh, dealing with the war is on. And, and just like I told the saints, it's exposing the devil season. And, and on today, this is my last message coming out of this series dealing with the war is on. And so today, I want to talk about reverse the curse. Amen. Because we, we want to realize that, y'all, we have an enemy. Amen, somebody. We have an enemy. And, and, and see, the devil wants us cursed. And the reason why he wants us cursed, because he's cursed. Because it said in the word of God in Genesis 3 and 14 that, that God had, had cursed the serpent, which was the devil. And see, that's one of the reasons why he wants us cursed is because he's cursed. Amen. Amen. And, and, and see, watch this. The good news is those that are in Christ have been redeemed, watch this, from the curse. Amen. And, and see, but the bad news, watch this, the bad news is some still have a curse mentality. Still have a curse mentality because they allow their circumstances, watch this, their, their circumstances and the things that they're going through to enslave their mentality, to enslave their mind. And see, the greatest battle, watch this, the, the greatest battle is, is not your circumstances and your situation. The greatest battle, y'all, is your mind. Amen. Your mind. And see, if Satan had your mind, then he had you. Amen. Speak, Holy Ghost. Then he got you. And so that's why we should have, y'all, a blessed mentality. No matter what you might be going through, watch this. If you are a child of Jesus, if you are a child of God, you should feel blessed. You should know that you're blessed. Amen. And you need to reverse every curse out of your mindset. Now, 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 what does it mean to be cursed? What does it mean to truly be cursed? Well, first of all, a curse is the opposite from the blessing. Amen. In Greek, it means to be a doomed one. It means to go down due to penalties received, due to condemnation. A curse, watch this, is a misfortune. It is a mishap. A curse is setbacks. And, and, and losses, and it is adversity that leads to calamity, which causes distress and suffering. And, and see, the world calls a curse, y'all, bad luck. And we, as people of God, must understand that in Christ Jesus, watch this, we are blessed. But the enemy wants you to think that you're cursed, watch this, due to your circumstances and your situations in life. And, and, and see, we all have challenges and problems. Amen. And, 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 and if you are a child of God and, and you're going through the, uh, uh, life, you're going to have problems. You're, go you're going to face, watch this, many troubles, tests, and trials, but you are unbreakable. You're unbreakable. 
And you got to realize and understand that because it says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 8, we are troubled on every side, but yet not distressed or crushed. We are perplexed, but not despair or loss of hope, y'all. And, 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 and see, I come here to tell somebody today, there is hope in Christ. Yeah. See, see, God can take you from the valley low and bring you to the mountaintop high. He, he can take your weeping to rejoicing. See, see, God can turn things around. God can do a reset in your life. See, 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 God, he can take your misery and turn it into a, mi a ministry. Yeah. He can take your pain and allow it to be purpose. Hallelujah. He can take you from being disappointed to appointed and anointed. Amen. Amen. Because that's the kind of God that we serve. Hallelujah. And, and, and see, God is able, y'all. He's able to do a reversal. What I mean by that, that he's able to do a reversal. God is able to reverse every curse attack that Satan tries to throw up against you with fiery darts. Amen. See, God can do a reversal in every area of your life. So what do I mean by reverse? What, what, what does it mean to reverse? First of all, reverse means to bring something back to its original state or condition. Reverse means to change in a contrary position. It means to command an order in the opposite direction. To, watch this, to turn back. See, there's power in a reversal. And, 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 and see, when I think about that there's power in a reversal, it, it allows me to know, watch this, that there's power in redemption. Yeah. Because Jesus brought us back to the Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and, and so God is able, y'all, to do a reversal. Jesus, he redeemed us from sin and death and brought us back to the Father. And so we understand that there's power in redemption and there's power in a reversal. See, see the word reverse, watch this, it starts off with R-E. It starts off with R-E. And R-E means to redo. R-E means to redo, which means God is going to do, he's going to redo everything in your life that the enemy tried to bring up against you. I'm speaking to somebody. God is going to do a reset and a redo in your life. God can revive your health. He can restore your finances. He can rebuild your marriage. He can revamp your ministry. Hallelujah. He can rearrange your circumstances and you can recover all. See, the word of God declares in 1 Samuel 30 and 8 to recover all. Recover all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If God is with you, who can be against you? That's the word. That's the word. I, I heard that in my spirit when I was sitting right there. If God is with you, who can be against you? Amen. Because watch this. Now the Lord has given you authority too. The Lord has given you authority too. The Lord also has given us power too. And we must walk in our authority. Watch this. Because reverse, watch this, also means to take it back. And see, there are some things that people have spoken up against us, waiting for our demise, yeah. waiting for our destruction. Yeah. And, and, and see, we need to take it back and destroy every word that every demon, every witch, every warlock yeah. has spoken up against our life. Take it back. Reverse the curse. Yeah. Hallelujah. You need to open up your mouth and say that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. Hallelujah. Take it back. Reverse the curse. In Jesus' name. We must understand, watch this, that there are people that do not like you. There are people, hallelujah, that don't care for you. Speak Holy Ghost. And sad to say, mainly some of them are in the church. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Amen. But you got to reverse the curse. Amen. Hallelujah. Every, every word that's spoken about you behind your back, every word and, 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 and uh, the things that people conspired up against you, up against your back, on your job, trying to get you fired, take it back. Take it back. And see, the reason why I'm saying take it back, Hallelujah, because you might have to fight this thing in the realm of the spirit. Reason why I'm saying take it back, and, and, and the important thing that you need to know is Proverbs 18 
and 21 tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Amen. And, and, and so you need to counter attack in the realm of the spirit the words that have been spoken up against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to reverse the curse. Every word, every negative word that has been spoken over your life, I bind it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and, and see, watch this. Not only you need to take back what somebody else has said about you, but you need to take back some things that you said about your own self. Amen. Speak Holy Ghost. Amen. You need to take back some things that you've spoken over your own life. Right. Hallelujah. Because oftentimes, not only other people, watch this, have spoken things against you, but you have spoken some things against your own self. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you have cursed your own self with your Amen. own words. Amen. Amen. And then it says in James 3 and 10, it says, out of the mouth comes blessings and curses. Yes. And the Holy Ghost is saying, you, you need to reverse the curse. Yeah. You, you need to reverse and take back the things that you said on your own life. Yeah. Quit talking about that you're living in poverty. Quit speaking that, that you'll never get ahead in life. Come on. Come on, somebody. Quit, quit, quit talking about you'll never be healed in Jesus' name. Quit, quit repeating the doctor's report that the doctor gave to you. Take it back. Reverse the curse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because it says in, in Psalms 107 and 2, it says, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. And you got to open up your mouth and you got to say that I am the head and not the tail. I am the linger and not the bar. I'm above only and not the knee. And it is so. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Amen. Amen. I'm almost done. Amen. But you have the power. Yeah. You have the power yeah. to proclaim it over your life. Yeah. Come on, proclaim it, faith. Yeah. Come on, bread of life. Yeah. You got the power yeah. to proclaim it over your life. Yeah. You have the power to decree and declare over your life. You have the power to speak and move mountains. You have the anointing to command a thing to come into alignment with God's word. To bring things back, watch this, to its original state, to its original condition. You got to speak with power. You got to lay hands on yourself and command your body to get back to its original health. I'm talking to somebody today. I'm speaking to somebody today. Hallelujah. You got to command peace where there's chaos and confusion. You got to command over your life. Watch this. You got to command life where there's death. You got to speak life over your situations and your circumstances. Amen. Hallelujah. And you got to command, watch this, a blessing where there's a cursing. I'm done. I'm done. Hallelujah. I wasn't going to be long because we're just now leading out of a series. And so I didn't have a long message. But I do want to minister. Hallelujah. And altar call. Can I have some music, please? Hallelujah. Because you are here. Hallelujah. First of all, do anybody want to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And also, is there anybody here that needs prayer? Hallelujah. Because God wants to set you free from a curse mentality. Hallelujah. Yes, you believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus is your Lord and Savior. But you're still walking around with the curse mentality. Hallelujah. You're still wasting your happiness of a happenings. You are here today. You call Shaya the Mosia Bashaya. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Rhonda, uh, if you could the blessing on. Thank you, Jesus. I only just want to speak blessings. Hallelujah. And speak life. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to speak the word of God. Hallelujah. How about that? Hallelujah. Some of us are bound by our health, bound by finances, bound by marital problems and relationships.
relationship problems, things going on in our home. And it's time for us to cast down imaginations. That, that was our uh, last message just last Sunday. Pulling down strongholds by casting down imagination. Oftentimes, we create certain things in our mind because we know the imagination is actually a display, a show of the mind. Amen. And oftentimes, we create things in our mind. Now, hear the Holy Ghost saying, you need to cast down them thoughts. They're called Shia And you need to speak, open up your mouth, and decree and declare that it is so. And you are redeemed. It says, let the Redeemer of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we're thanking you right now in the name of Jesus under this anointing. I speak and I decree and declare right now restoration in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, Father God, for blessings, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you're doing a reset, Lord. You're repositioning people right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now, Lord, Father God, that you're doing a shifting right now in this atmosphere, Lord, Father God. You're doing a shifting right now. You're doing a reset right now, Lord, Father God. I thank you for the deliverance right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Lord. You're taking somebody right now from being bound to being free. And Lord, we're thanking you right now for the freedom right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're thanking you right now for what you're doing, Lord, Father God. You're shifting their finances, Lord, Father God. You're restoring their homes, Lord, Father God. You're restoring relationships right now in the name of Jesus. You're restoring health right now in the name of Jesus because of your anointing, because of the power that you have, Lord, Father God, to shift, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to turn things around, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, Father God, even under this anointing, Lord, Father God, that you are now in us, even all those that's here, Lord, even those that's sitting in the pews, Lord, I thank you, Lord, Father God, that you are now in all of us, even including me, to recover all. And not only to give back the things that we have lost, but I thank you, Lord, that you're placing that anointing on us to get even more. Hallelujah. Because you said in your word that, 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 that our latter days should be greater than our former. So we thank you for the increase and the abundance and the overflow over every area of our lives. And we call it done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. No lack. Tell somebody no lack. No lack. Shia, I don't see ya.